Hi boys, hope everyone's doing well and keeping safe. I just wanted to send you this video to familiarize yourself with our power play breakouts that we're going to be using this season. In this particular video, we're going to go over five on four power play breakout and then we're going to give you three options. So here we go. Option one, Royals are in blue, penalty killers are in red. This is going to be our initial setup and all three of our options in this video today. So here's our, our setup is going to be defenseman number one behind our net with the puck. So in the scenario where the other team dumps the puck out, defenseman number one retrieves the puck and lines up behind our net. Now I call him defenseman number one because he's the first defenseman in our end. Now whether you're the right-handed D or the left-handed D, it doesn't matter. The first defenseman to go back for the puck, we're going to call defenseman number one. So our centerman... And our defenseman number two are going to line up parallel. All right. Our left winger is going to be on the opposing blue line. Our right winger is going to be on the right side at center ice. Now, the reason why we have these two players staying high is to keep these two defensemen honest and at their blue line, basically to open up the neutral zone to provide more space for our puck carrier to carry the puck out of our end. Alrighty, so what's going to happen here is we're going to have our centermen's going to be curling for a passing option, and our defenseman's going to be curling the opposite way for a passing option. Okay, the goal for defenseman number one is to draw a penalty killer in tight and then dish the puck off. Ideally, as discussed, I would like the first option to always go to the centerman on his forehand. So in this case, our centerman is left-handed. If you're a right-handed centerman, you're going to be lining up on this side. Okay, so here we go. Let's play it out, and then I'll give you a couple different looks at it. Here we go. As you can see, centerman D2 curling at the same time. D1 goes to centerman. Centerman carries the puck out. Our right winger comes over for support for the puck carrier. Our defenseman number one follows his pass to provide puck support for the centerman. All right, let's take a different look at this. Give you a 3D look. Let's take this back. There we go. Again, centerman, defenseman curl. We're trying to draw on this penalty killer. Boom, up the side, we're out of our end. Okay, let's see that one more time. Perfect. So, again, in today's video, we're just talking about breaking the puck out of our end. In other videos, we'll get into entries and we'll get into our initial setup as well. So for this video, we're gonna give you three options of breaking the puck out of our end. Okay, let's take a different view of this. Option number one, we'll take it from the defenseman's view behind the net. Let's just back this up. And here we go. All right, so centerman's curling, defenseman's curling, right winger's going over for support, left winger's going over for support. Again, this is a timing drill. We don't want the defenseman leaving too early. And we want, we want to wait for the centerman and the D to curl before this D takes off. All right, let's play it again here.